Hello all. Thought I'd do a kind of a two-parter video, a couple parts, a couple things on the environmental front that's happening. Very interesting here in the U.S., San Francisco here in California. The mayor just up and died in Safeway, which is a, it's a grocery store. Now we have London Breeze, who couldn't stand anything Lee stood for. Like most of the city, we don't really miss him much, if at all. Typical corrupt politician. Bites the dust. But that's not what I'm here for. You can see my skin is all red because of the smoke in the sky from our uh, fires in California to the south of here. In this month of December, we're still warm, dry, very dry. The air is uh, like in the 10%, 15%, down to 8%. We're getting very dried out. Hopefully, the winds won't come up much and we'll end up having another firestorm here in the San Francisco Bay Area. But I'm not here to talk about that either. Let's get on with the subject. So what I thought I would uh, talk to you about was the uh, problem with plastic waste and e-waste. E-waste is basically a lot of plastic waste of various different types of plastic that never get recycled much. Um, where does most of the e-waste go and what is it? E-waste is computers, computer equipment, telecom equipment, refrigerators, dishwashers, um, stoves, vacuum cleaners. You sort of get it. Electronic waste that we all throw away because the built-in obsolescence makes it sure that it breaks within four years of you buying it at least even if you don't use it just put it in the closet it will uh, break on its own so last year we per the world produced 44.7 million tons of e-waste so since 2014 e-waste has increased year by year by eight percent who produces the biggest amount of e-waste well it used to of course be the u.s and the uk but no now it's australia and new zealand who produce the most e-waste on the planet and they only recycle six percent of it and i put recycle in quotes because recycling e-waste is really not much recycling at all. So the U.S. produced 26 pounds of e-waste per person since 2016, and they recycled 17%. So it's predicted that e-waste will keep going up by 17% by 2021. Unfortunately, when they say e-waste, Recycling, I've got some videos down below that shows in detail what that is and how e-waste recycling isn't really much of a recycling at all. Yeah, they get the metal, the aluminum, the copper, the gold, some platinum, and some silver. But that's in very small. It takes thousands of pounds to get even a pound of gold out of e-waste. You might as well be panning. You'll get a lot more gold that way. So the uh, wire that's throughout e-waste, cat 5, cat 6, wires, all that stuff. The way they recycle it is they burn it or they put it in acid and burn and take off all the uh, insulation and then recycle the, co the uh, copper. But all that insulation goes into the environment one way or another, mostly into smoke, which is very, very toxic. Most of the e-waste, of course, goes to India, China, and other Asian countries where very, 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 very poor people, including children, try to recycle enough to get at least one meal a day. It's their only way of making money these days. What a shame. What can we do about it? I don't know. The only thing I can say is don't worry about upgrading every year. Upgrade maybe every five, six, ten years if you can get away with it. There's really not that much difference between the new and the old anyway. They're just little incremental steps. Think of your planet and other than that it's up to the corporations to make their product more recyclable which some of them are trying because it's more money for them in their pocket. There's been lots of BS around the news organizations about CO2 count. I'm just going to tell you what the count says. I'm not going to come up with all this BS to try and 
tell you there's no such thing as the CO2 count or CO2 isn't uh, going to hurt us in any way. CO2 is going to kill us. That's the fact. It may be natural, but so is dynamite. Too much of anything can kill you, and too much CO2 in the atmosphere is going to rave absolute hell on this planet. So let's go over to the CO2 count for this week. 406.81 for December 404.00 for last year at this time. Still going up, still going up a little bit faster and faster year after year. Same with the methane. Anybody with just a slight bit of science knowledge knows where this is going. I don't even have to say anything more about this. Stop driving your vehicle so much. Buy smaller vehicles that are used. That sounded like a wreck. A very bad car wreck off in the distance. Oh well. Soon the sirens will sound. Okay, there's one other really bad thing that's happening. Now, I'll show you the drought monitor that I showed you the other day. Well, each state has a drought monitor. And per the right-wing agenda, the drought monitor is to be discontinued at the end of the month. You know how you deal with drought. You just ignore it. It doesn't exist. Take away the drought monitor. It goes away, right? Don't know about us. I really don't know about what's going on up here. We have the capability of doing all kinds of fantastic things. We could live in absolute luxury, every single human, without destroying our planet. But that's harder than what we're doing now. And unfortunately, humans can be really lazy. But you know, I don't even think it's that, really. I think it's more to do with money. It is required that you continue to work on getting money all the time. I'm going down a very steep hill here. And that you make that money fast because you're paying out money to make money. And that's an incentive to get things out before they're ready, if you know what I mean. Development was cut short. Refining the product so it will last a while gets uh, looked over and obsoles obsolescence is a much more, it's a much bigger incentive because you make more money that way if things wear out faster. But our planet can't work that way. So if you consume, consume something of high quality so it lasts a long time and they get to recycle it. The recyclers will come after it and recycle it faster than the cheap garbage that you see at the malls or those cheap box stores. You know, shopping at a box store is one of the worst things you can do. So, as things change politically day by day, we'll see what happens. Things will never happen the way you expect them to happen, it seems. So, I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. And until next time, 